May glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread, who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise, Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox. Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone art blessed. Thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. 
My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard of thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. For those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit in the darkness and the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintances far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintances into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and find thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. Like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In, in all places, places of his dominion, dominion bless, bless the Lord, Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands, I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. 
Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good, and lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our President, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, the most blessed and glorious, Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Two mighty kings. 
count it worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. And he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. Jesus said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. Simon Peter, when he heard it, that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was naked, and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there, with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And all there, there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and dine. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples. After he was raised from the dead. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. And that we have seen the resurrection of Christ, let us bow down
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercies and bounties. Exalt the estate of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, and of all the holy prophets, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our Father among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the great Gregory the theologian and John Chrysostom, of our fathers among the saints Athanasius, Cyril, and John the merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas and Mira, spirit of Trimethus, and Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, Nikolai of Zicho, labored in America, innocent of Angelizer of Alaska, and Tikhon, patriarch of Moscow, and lighteners of North America, John, the wonder worker of Shanghai and San Francisco, Raphael of Brooklyn, the presbyters Jacob of Alaska and Alexis of Wilkesbury, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, Demetrius the mer streaming, Theodore the soldier, Theodore the general, and Minos the wonder worker, of the higher martyrs Ignatius the god bearer of Antioch, Hierolampos, Eleftherius, Cosmos of Atolia, Juvenalia, Viliana, John and Alexander, missionaries to America, and higher martyrs of the Bolshevik yoke, of the holy, glorious, great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kyrie, Key, Fotini, Mar Marina, Paraskeva, Irene, and Elizabeth, the Grand Duchess, new martyr of Russia, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, especially Peter the Aleut, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and mothers who shone in the ascetic life, Anthony the Great, Sergius of Radonezh, Seraphim of Seraph, Herman of Alaska, Silouan of Manathas, and Mary of Egypt, of Saint Philip the Apostle, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the holy higher martyr Apatius, Bishop of Gangra in Paphlagonia, our righteous father Akakius, the confessor, Bishop of Melitene, the holy martyrs of Persia, Audus the bishop, Benjamin the deacon, and nine other martyrs with them, the holy higher martyr, Menander, the holy 38 martyred kinsman, our righteous father Blaise of Emorion, our righteous father Stephen the wonder worker, our righteous father Apodius, the healer of the Kiev caves, our father among the saints Jonas, Metropolitan of Kiev and all Russia, our father among the saints Innocent, Metropolitan of Moscow, the enlightener of Siberia and Alaska, whose memory we celebrate today and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O merciful Lord, hearken unto the petition of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.
Gregory Palamas, Archbishop of Thessalonica. This spring of life now leadeth to light on waiting, though I own truly great and resplendent our home. This divine father was born in Asia and was brought up from infancy in the royal palace of Constantinople. When he was of age, Gregory left the palace and gave himself to asceticism on Mount Athos. He, is, he eventually moved to Thessalonica to seek cure for the diseases he contracted because of his asceticism and piety. In 1349, he was elevated to the Episcopacy, <coughs> tending to his people in an apostolic fashion for 13 years. He is glorified as an ascetic, a theologian, a hierarch, and a miracle worker who forsook a prominent secular lifestyle to take up his cross and follow Christ. The Most Holy Theotokos, St. John the Theologian, St. Demetrius, St. Anthony the Great, St. John Chrysostom, and the angels of God appeared to him at different times. Through his intercessions, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. I shall look in my mouth and it will be filled with the Spirit, and I shall speak forth to the Queen and Mother. I shall be seen joyfully singing her praises, and I shall be like to sing of her and mother of the light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and, and my spirit, spirit doth rejoice in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest of the word, and art truly there. Of the lowliness of 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, Thou that takest away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, O Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been a refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have
to ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Father, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our President, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverers from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. On us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance all, holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious, Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. All the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Wisdom, stand upright. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, who sing to thee, Hallelujah. When thou didst submit thyself unto death, O thou deathless and immortal one, then thou didst destroy hell with thy body power. And when Listen. thou didst raise the dead,
for us a time. together so that there was no longer room for them not even about the door and he was preaching the word to them and they came bringing to Jesus a paralytic carried by four men and when they could not get near Jesus because of the crowd they removed the roof above him and when they had made an opening they let down the pallet on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man speak thus? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately, Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus reasoned within themselves, said to them, Why do you reason thus in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk? 
but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, take up your pallet and go home. And he rose and immediately took up the pallet and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in our Thrice blessed Saint, most holy Father, good shepherd and disciple of Christ the Good Shepherd, thou hast laid down thy life for thy sheep. And now in thine